Senate Bill 1510 covers a number of issues related to public safety and criminal justice, governing traffic stops and consent searches, but also post-prison supervision and investing millions of dollars into culturally specific social services. Babak Zulfagari Azar is part of the Transforming Justice Coalition, which helped craft this legislation. It really started in the summer of 2020 after George Floyd was murdered. Um, Several organizations and, and folks from throughout the state who are already doing racial justice work came together to develop and advance the kinds of public safety and criminal justice reforms that are essential for black and brown communities to feel safe. One of those reforms addressing how traffic stops are handled. All these years later, I can still recall all the details of police stops that I've experienced in my life. They, they honestly changed the trajectory of my life. Um, and if these policies that are included in the bill had been in place, I likely wouldn't be living with those experiences. Senator Floyd Przonski says Senate Bill 1510 is a reconfiguration of a bill from last year, which tackled similar issues. What it basically does is take five tools out of the toolbox that uh, law enforcement officers have uh, for being able to stop a vehicle on the road. And these are equipment violations. An equipment violation is like a tail light being out, a single tail light or a single headlight. Senator Przonski explains it doesn't remove the ability for law enforcement to pull people over. A driver could still be stopped for speeding or a moving violation like failing to use a turn signal. They could, in fact, still stop that vehicle for unsafe operation of a vehicle based on the equipment violation. The bill also requires the officer to tell the driver they have a right to refuse a search of their vehicle. If the driver consents to a search, an officer must get documentation. Basically, we're adopting something that's already in practice and we're just expanding it across the board to all agencies. The Oregon State Sheriff's Association and Chiefs of Police said they're taking a neutral position on this bill but object to one part, saying, we still believe that the inability to stop a vehicle for an inoperative taillight or headlight creates a safety hazard for the motoring public. Alma McCarty, KGW News.